Hello from sunny Baghdad. I'm Mike Fleet from the 2016 to 2018 MAG cohort. And I now currently work with the Institute on Governance on our fiscal federalism and decentralization project. The work we do in Iraq focuses on the decentralization of services to the provinces. We're currently working with our pilot projects in Diwaniya and Maysan, and working between the federal government and the provincial governments to help improve service capacity for citizens. So the Balzili pro uh, program has really assisted me in this job as it allowed me to, throughout my studies, take a complex approach to understanding uh, Iraqi politics and also take a nuanced approach in how to come up with solutions. This is really effective for my job today as it lets me look at what we actually can do, can't do, and how to leverage that to have maximum impact. The other thing about the Balzila program that's fantastic is, it, is the networking that you do throughout it. The Balzila school is fantastic to allow people to come in and out and, and get you opportunities to speak with them and meet with them. So that way afterwards, after the program, you have a great network to take advantage from. The third way that the program is fantastic is that it gives you such amazing faculty that throughout the year, you can really build up your own knowledge outside of the classroom. Because really through, the, through going through uh, the faculty and speaking to them with one-on-one -on -one and they always have the doors open, that's really where you gain so much more knowledge and it's incredible. Not saying that the classes aren't fantastic either though. And lastly, the program does an amazing job of making you ask yourself why you're doing this, which is, I think, uh, a lot more programs, uh, master programs should be asking that of you. And when you can answer that question and really begin to focus on what you actually care about, it gives that so much more impact within the work that you do. So thank you, Balsili School, and hello from, uh, from Baghdad. It's currently 48 degrees, so I'm going to go back inside now. Cheers. Hello, this is Suhani Bhushan from the 2013-2014 May cohort. Um, I worked a lot on climate-induced displacement um, at my time at Balsili and uh, did my internship at Civicus, um, which I currently still work at. So it's been about four years working with Civicus um, and I have the Balsili School to thank for that. Um, I've been working on sustainable development, um, capacity development, um, but the most exciting part is um, I've been able to continue my work on marginalization and intersectionality. Um, one of the projects I was able to work on um, was creating a project and, um, um, and disseminating the work um, where I was able to put together funds, national dialogues in over 30 countries where we were able to convene people from all different types of communities um, and looked at an intersectional approach on how to ensure they're not left behind in policy making and in sustainable development. Um, through my work at Civicus, I've been able to travel to each continent, over 30 countries, um, and I'm still excited to continue um, to move forwards. Um, thanks. My name is Harry Casey. I'm a PhD student in Global Governance at the Balsili School of International Affairs. I'm currently in Kathmandu, Nepal, in course of my field work. Um, right now, I am standing in front of the Department of Government. This is one of the government bodies that uh, regulates uh, and manages the migration of the country. Um, I can see a number of young men, you know, some women, uh, waiting here to get uh, the documentation done. Um, so all, most of these uh, people, they come from different parts of the country, but this is the only uh, administrative unit uh, based in Kathmandu. So they have to uh, make uh, long trips to uh, come here. So uh, uh, my dissertation, this dissertation, uh, examines uh, Nepal's labor migration governance focusing on gender. Um, I can see that very few women uh, are here uh, to get the documentation done. Uh, but the fact is that a lot of women, a number of women, work as domestic workers in the Middle East, and most of these women uh, go to uh, the Middle East uh, um, through informal channels uh, using. Uh, illegal, what they call illegal brokers, paying a lot of money. Uh, so uh, uh, 
my um, dissertation looks at how gender plays into uh, policies and migration governance as a whole um, of the country. Hi BSIA, uh, this is Virgil. I graduated from the MIP program in 2014 and since then I've been changing the world working as a humanitarian on the uh, Syria-Turkey border and most recently moving to Hong Kong to work for Save the Children uh, where we are protecting the lives of children and improving access to education all across Asia. So stick it out and good luck. It's a great journey.